that reaping comes to your spirit first please hear me when you sow to the spirit and you reap from the spirit that reaping comes to your spirit man first that's where you recognize it that's where you receive it The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe down below and if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us so Revelation chapter 22 verse 9 then saith he unto me worship God you see that what did this angel sent from heaven told him all of these wonderful things he saw and heard things what did this angel tell him to do worship God, worship God. you should worship God would anybody have a problem with that no. if you just say you should worship God right you might need some descriptions about who God is the God that you're supposed to worship and that would be okay but we shouldn't doubt whether we should be worshiping God or not so go to Luke Luke chapter 4 and verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God is this in your Bible yes. Jesus said the angel said it you should worship God here's Jesus saying it thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve well in our day and age I've said it before I'm gonna say it again the Holy Ghost is God say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. is God see now he's in the earth if he is God it would be okay for me and scriptural for me to worship him is this true mm -hmm. and Jesus said it right there thou shalt worship the Lord thy God well he is God he is a person and I shall worship him whether you like it or not That's right. you will like it if you do it Amen. John chapter 4 look at verse 22 you worship you know not what we know what we worship say we know, we know. what we worship. we worship other translations say whom we worship we know whom we worship mm -hmm. do you know who you worship mm -hmm. who's God in the earth today the Holy, the Holy Ghost he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today we know who we worship verse 24 God is a spirit and they that worship him now people would say well there's no place in the Bible that says that you're supposed to worship the Holy Ghost well if he's God I've already read you two places where you're supposed to worship God mm -hmm. here it says God is a spirit is that in your Bible yes, it is. God is a spirit and they that worship him mm -hmm. he's a him has to be talking about the Holy Ghost because God is a spirit is the Holy Ghost a spirit yes the Holy Ghost is a spirit we're talking about the Spirit of God or the Spirit God the Holy Ghost they that worship him must they must, must. is that in your Bible yes. must worship him in spirit and in truth so this is not only giving us an indication about how we must worship the Holy Ghost and that it's him we must worship mm -hmm. say it's him we must worship him we must are worship. you here yes. in our day we can know him and if we know him we'll worship him we know him the Holy Ghost as God and therefore we worship him so if we're gonna worship him we need to worship him in spirit and in truth he is a spirit being therefore our contact with him has to be in the spirit does this make sense yes you have to go there see they that worship him worship him in spirit it says we go to him That's right. we go into the spirit and truth he doesn't come into our carnality and falsehood this makes sense so if we're gonna worship him we have to worship him in the spirit meaning we got to go and present ourselves in the spirit and in truth well it is truth that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you go there you sow there you reap there mm -hmm. there where you say in the spirit it's a spiritual thing mm -hmm. 
say it's a spiritual thing when I worship the Holy Ghost it's a spiritual thing it's a spiritual sowing to the Spirit they that worship him must worship him in the Spirit it's a spiritual economy it's God's economy but it's in the Spirit because he is a spirit mm -hmm. it will affect the natural but it doesn't happen in the natural it happens in the Spirit and that has authority over the natural there is an economy and the objective of this message tonight is to get you into God's economy stop messing around in your own economy and thinking you're gonna get something out of it we have to do it his way in his world in his way with his word if we want results well I've been doing it this way for 45 years with no results mm -hmm. I'm not talking about that that's not God's economy because God's economy works and what I'm talking about tonight will work for you if you stick around show you how to get there remember God is a spirit they that worship him so the first thing that we should do is once we know that God is a spirit God is the Holy Ghost say that God, God is, is the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost right once we know that the first thing that we sow is worship that should break a lot of people's religious thinking and tradition the first thing we sow to God should be worship I worship you Holy Ghost God is a spirit they that number one worship him mm -hmm. in spirit yeah. so the first thing that we're sowing to the Holy Ghost God is I worship you Holy Ghost if you do worship him especially using the words I worship you Holy Ghost you will show up on his radar do you know what I mean by that there's a thing called a transponder in your aircraft and if you put it in mode C actually you contact the tower and they will give you a specific code that you punch into the transponder as soon as you do that bloop, you appear on their radar with all kinds of information your altitude your speed your direction when you worship God the Holy Ghost you show up on his radar you're putting in the correct code a lot of people haven't put in the correct code yet what's the code number one worshiping him is this any good yet yes. say I worship the Holy Ghost, I the Holy Ghost. and I'm on, his radar. I'm on his radar what's that mean he sees you he knows you he knows about you you're beginning to be in his economy when you so I work you so worship to the Holy Ghost or worship to God you're sowing to him what are you sowing to him worship frankly you're sowing something to him that a lot of people haven't sown before Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man sows that shall he also reap verse 8 for he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that sows to the Spirit mm -hmm. he is a person is sowing something to the spirit shall of the spirit reap that's God's economy that's how he does things be not deceived God is not mocked it doesn't work any other way are you mad at me yet this is how it works if you want this to work if you want God's economy to work for you then this is how you work it Does this make sense so to the Holy Ghost and of the spirit or the spirit realm reap mm -hmm. where are you gonna reap in my natural world that's not where it says you reap from you reap from the spirit how do you spell realm r-e-a-l-m it's real it's more real than the natural world so you're sowing to a real world mm -hmm. a spiritual sowing and a spiritual reaping I hope that I can get this over to you I don't want it some other way no there is no other way you don't do a natural sowing and get a spiritual reaping you sow to the spirit let me read it again he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap where are you gonna reap in the spirit you reap them in your spirit first hold your place right there let's go over to first Thessalonians first Thessalonians 5 23 says and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless the Holy Ghost is sanctifying you 
completely holy the whole of you spirit and soul and body so you have three parts say I have three parts, I have three parts. do you know what those three parts are mm -hmm. your spirit your soul and your body mm -hmm. what part are we going to reap in the spirit. the spirit that reaping comes to your spirit first please hear me when you sow to the spirit and you reap from the spirit that reaping comes to your spirit man first that's where you recognize it that's where you receive it you don't receive it in your head you don't receive it in your body so I'm not supposed to touch the spirit world with my physical body or even with my mind mm -hmm. they will be affected eventually but we receive from the spirit into our spirit man mm -hmm. we communicate with the Holy Ghost with our spirit man Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 again he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap what life everlasting or everlasting life it's a specific kind of life it's an actual thing say it's an actual thing it's an actual thing it's an actual substance that affects everything everlasting life is the substance that you reap it's the substance you reap if you sow to the spirit what are you gonna reap I'm gonna reap financial gain I'm gonna reap healing I'm gonna reap all the you're gonna reap everlasting life which will affect your healing which will affect your finances get it straight when you sow to the spirit you reap from the spirit into your spirit the substance of everlasting life oh, I want it some other way continue on in the way that doesn't work then this works I'm showing you how to get into God's economy which means you're gonna to have to sow to the spirit and of the spirit reap the substance of everlasting life oh, I want something else no Holy Ghost said to me I have provided you with a substance that will supply your every need remember my God shall supply what's he do he uses that substance if you're going to reap from the Spirit it's going to be the substance of everlasting life mm -hmm. you need more everlasting life you need more of the substance of life in your finances you need more of the substance of everlasting life in your physical body which will create youth renewal and health sure. are you here yes. it's a substance it's what you reap mm -hmm. say it's what you reap it's what you reap it's what you reap when is it what you reap when you sow to the spirit and where are you gonna reap it you're gonna reap it in your spirit mm -hmm. and then it will affect your mind then it will affect your body then it will affect your finances I've provided you with a substance an actual substance that if you will learn how to appropriate and apply will supply your every need be not deceived God is not mocked this is how he do mm -hmm. this is God's economy I'm putting my finger on it oh I don't like it well get over it this is how he does things the substance of everlasting life say that the substance, the substance. of everlasting life that's what he gives you you ask him for this you ask him for that what does he give you the substance of everlasting life and where does that substance come to your spirit man is this any good if you can get this you, you'll start to be able to operate in God's economy and have all of these wonderful things that come from that mm -hmm. out of the spirit comes out of the spirit comes everlasting life I'm sowing to the Spirit I'm sowing to the Spirit I'm watering to the Spirit I'm sowing to the Spirit and then out of the Spirit comes everlasting life you getting this mm -hmm. he goes on to say my life comes out of there the Holy Ghost's life it's his life he's giving you life right mm -hmm. yes. life to a dead thing will cause it to be not dead anymore That's right. life to dead finances will cause it to prosper and thrive mm -hmm. therefore we can say my life comes out of there mm -hmm. 
you can put your finger on where you need to go and where you need to get your life out of it's out of the spirit from the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and it's called everlasting life it's a substance if you have enough of it everything is in there if he's saying he can provide your every need through that substance then everything has to be in there please get this say everything, everything. Is, in is in there give them this it's in there everything I want in life think about this and say it everything, everything. I, want I want in life, in life. is in there where's it gonna come from the Spirit from the Holy Ghost where's it gonna come to first your spirit I didn't say it isn't gonna affect your mind it will affect your mind it will affect your body it will affect your finance it'll, it'll affect everything mm -hmm. but it comes to your spirit man first and everything you want in life is in there it comes out say it comes out, out. where's it come out of the spirit you sow to the spirit and you reap from the spirit mm -hmm. it comes out the best life ever where does it come from the best life ever where does it come from spirit. the spirit and it comes from the Holy Ghost and it comes to your spirit first I hope I'm getting this across it is a spiritual happening that comes out of the spirit I don't know about you but I'm getting happy about it it is a spiritual happening that comes out of the spirit that is a direct result of sowing to the spirit the right thing say the right thing the right thing if I sow healing verses to the spirit what's gonna come out of the spirit yeah. healing in the form of everlasting life mm -hmm. if I sow prosperity scriptures to the spirit by saying them mm -hmm. and again I've covered this many times if I say them into the spirit or return them to God what am I gonna reap prosperity in the form of everlasting life comes out of the spirit it's a spiritual happening that comes out of the spirit comes out and it says here I am it comes out of the spirit to you to your spirit and it's a direct result of sowing to the spirit and you reap things we're gonna talk about that in a second you're reaping things we're talking about God's economy how he does things so out of the spirit shall come the thing that you desire the healing that you desire the blessing that you desire shall come out of the spirit it will say here I am so out of your spiritual activity say spiritual activity, spiritual activity. not your physical activity not your mental activity right out of your spiritual activity will come forth the provision that you desire the thing that you desire the best life ever mm -hmm. where's it gonna come out of the spirit mm -hmm. that is God's economy you sowing to the spirit and of the spirit reaping be not deceived so how things work say how things work, how things work. or they don't work mm -hmm. or how things don't work this is what we're talking about being involved getting into God's economy so that things work for us instead of not working because most people that you talk to it isn't working for them mm -hmm. and I'm sharing with you today things that actually work number one wor worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and sowing to the Spirit and of the Spirit reaping that is what God's economy is based on and that's how his household are you getting this mm -hmm. should be functioning effectively mm -hmm. this works other things don't I've done other things have you done other things mm -hmm. I've done many other things that seem good seem religious but they didn't work this works with the least amount of effort and the greatest result mm -hmm. economy of motion are you here mm -hmm. we're sowing to the spirit Yes. and we're gonna reap from the Spirit everlasting life mm -hmm. if we get in line with that I'm gonna directly reap from the Spirit in my spirit everlasting life it's quicker 
are you here yes I'm avoiding a lot of the obstacles so we're worshiping the Holy Ghost and we're using words of agreement mm -hmm. this is what we're sowing to the Spirit I'm trying to help you out here if you'll do this if you'll worship the Holy Ghost as God and sow words of agreement into the Spirit you will of the Spirit reap more efficiently quicker that's God's economy so I've learned over the years how to not do things <laughs> can I get an amen have you ever heard that all right but I've learned over the year how to get from here to there say I have to get from here to there what I got to get from a sickness to a healing I got to get from a, a, a bank account with nothing in it to more than enough how do I get from here to there the quickest way is by sowing to the spirit and of the spirit reaping that's God's economy that's how he does things and it all comes down to saying words of agreement and worshiping him where does the answer come from the Spirit what are you sowing to get it straight you know I'm not making this up if we want to operate in God's economy the most efficiently effectively and the quickest with the best results we sow to the Spirit if I'm gonna sow worship who am I gonna sow that worship to the Spirit I'm gonna worship the Holy Ghost and then I'm gonna say words that are in agreement with him because that's what we're sowing is words mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. so I'm gonna worship the Holy Ghost and then I'm gonna say his words mm -hmm. I'm specifically talking about returning scriptures and promises to him and saying them stop praying them start saying it worship him I worship you Holy Ghost and I call my body healed I worship you Holy Ghost I call these things that way you get involved in God's economy when you worship him and speak in agreement with his words you get involved in God's economy when you worship him and speak in agreement with his words first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 but the natural man receives not the natural man receives not that would be your natural physical man mm -hmm. you don't receive these things into your physical body you receive them into your spirit man the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are they they what they the things are spiritually discerned mm -hmm. meaning you're not going to spiritually recognize it you're going to say it's going to come to your spirit man that I'm healed mm -hmm. where's it going to come to your spirit man you're going to recognize in your spirit man that you have your finances settled mm -hmm. where's it come I want it some other way it doesn't come any other way you sow to the spirit and of the spirit reap you're gonna reap a spiritual substance into your spirit I'm helping you here this is how it comes well, I want it some other way I know you do we all do but that's not how it comes this is God's economy this is how he does it verse 14 but the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned other translations say estimated appreciated recognized you recognize them you appreciate them you receive them you discern them mm -hmm. with your spirit man so we're getting involved in God's economy we're worshiping him we're sowing to the spirit words of agreement what do we know about walking with God in the earth today how do we walk with God in the earth today saying. by saying words by speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. so many times and I'm telling you this happens more often than not I will be worshiping the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I am your worshiper I worship you Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today I worship you and all of a sudden all of a sudden, all of a sudden something will come into my inner man I will reap something it's an actual thing it's an actual 
because the things of the spirit are the real things they're from the realm if you reap prosperity in your spirit what's going to happen to your surroundings mm -hmm. they'll begin to prosper what if I reap in my spirit youth renewal what begins to happen to my physical body youth renewal it has no choice you understand that's the afterthought mm -hmm. that's not where we reap that's not where we sow that's not where we sow that's not where we reap that's not where we reap that's not where we sow how many times should I say this probably more that's not where we sow that's not where we reap where do we sow where do we reap spirit. to the spirit and of the spirit reap that's God's economy that's where we belong that's how we do mm -hmm. I'm trying to show you how God's economy works so that you can be efficient and effective at it mm -hmm. you sow to the spirit and of the spirit reap who's the one that reaps your spirit man is the one that reaps mm -hmm. say my spirit man my spirit. is the one, the one. that reaps sowing to the spirit and of the spirit reaping works and it works every time if it the thing comes out of the spirit it will work every time if it comes out of the spirit through God's economy you sowing and reaping it works every time be not deceived God is not mocked whatever you sow you will reap mm -hmm. if you're sowing to the spirit you're gonna of the spirit reap that thing in the form of everlasting life that's God's economy his economy is spiritual and when you do that you're participating in God's economy so I'm participating in God's economy all things are working together for good for me mm -hmm. what if I said that would I have scripture for that by the way yeah. Romans 8 all things work together for good for me well I'm sowing that to the spirit I worship you Holy Ghost and then I say all things work together for good for me what am I going to reap all things working together for good for me and it will come to your spirit man first this is how it works when you're sowing worship and words of agreement you are partaking in God's economy you're participating in God's economy I go there his economy doesn't come to me I go to him you understand that's how we started this I have to go there with my worship so I go there I sow there I reap there we sow to the spirit and of the spirit reap now in our spirit man so when I'm doing these things I'm participating in God's economy that feels good to say Say, when I'm doing these things, I'm, doing these things. I'm, participating I'm participating in God's, in God's economy. economy. And all things, and all things work, together work together for good for, good for, me. for me. We're sowing worship and speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost because He's God in the earth today. And let me pray for you, Holy Ghost. I thank you. These people are blessed by this message and those words are affecting them on the inside they will never be the same and as they use the words I worship you Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I ask you to visit them and begin changing them from the inside out let them reap from the spirit the substance of everlasting life transforming their physical body transforming their finances transforming their family their situation and their job and great things says the Spirit of the Lord come upon you and overtake you as you continue to worship me and speak in agreement with my words in Jesus name amen Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today